Hi, I'm Steve Weierman, and in this very brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do text file output. We've already got our program all set up. You'll notice that our main method has a throws file not found exception. Typically, you do not want the main method to throw exceptions. I'm just doing that because this is a very simple tutorial, and it's never actually going to throw that exception. So what our program is going to do is, like our other examples, we have a scanner object, and you'll recall that scanner uh, is a wrapper for our uh, input. So we're going to be getting input, in this case, from the console, from system.in, standard input. And we have a file object, and this file object uh, is going to be our actual output file. And I just call that output.txt. And next we're going to ask the user to type in a message. And then we're going to use the scanner in object to get whatever the user types in. And we'll store that in the variable message, which is a string. We also need a print writer. This is a object we have our class we have not talked about yet. Print writer is going to be our output wrapper and what this is going to do is it's going to uh, write, it's going to wrap around our file and then whatever we send to that, much like system.out, we can use this out object, whatever we're going to send to it will be written to our file. So in this case we'll just do print line message. And then finally, good practice is you're going to want to close the output string. So when I go and hit run, yeah, right there, you'll see it says type in the message. And I'll just type in hello world. And hit return. It says build successful. And if we look at our files here, you'll see that now there is an output.txt file. And inside that is a message, hello world. So that is how we do text file output. Uh, we've talked about text file input. So now we're ready to move on to building our GUI and building our text editor. And we'll show you that in the next tutorial.